The movie fans loved Endgame's portrayal of an intelligent Hulk. Uh, the brains and the brawn together played a huge role, even if he mostly sat out the final fight. Uh, but in comics, this Professor Hulk persona prefaced the introduction of one of Banner's most deadly villains, and one that's very likely to make it to the big screen, I would say, himself. This week we're looking at one of the scariest future versions of one of the scariest Marvel characters ever created, the Maestro, and why it's essential to make it happen in movies. I'm Dan Umphan, and this is the Doomcast. Riots, hammer pants, slap bracelets. 1992 was a banner year. Uh, pardon the pun. It saw the introduction of the 2099 universe with Spider-Man 2099, and its writer Peter David also completed a two-part graphic novella, Future Imperfect, as part of his run on The Incredible Hulk. And in Future Imperfect, a banner similar to the one in Endgame has both his wits and an intellect, as well as the full Hulk strength, Professor Hulk, if you will, uh, and he's pulled forward in time by a version of Dr. Doom's Time Cube. He's greeted by a group of filthy rebels and his old friend, Rick Jones, who is now more than 100 years old and has kept a bunker full of relics in uh, the old world, like uh, Cap's shield, uh, Mjolnir, and Wolverine's skeleton, etc. Uh, and Rick explains that they brought him to the future to kill himself. Kind of. Because mm, he was the problem. Uh, so Banner in this timeline had been kept alive in stasis for decades during a nuclear holocaust for unknown reasons by AIM, uh, as was explained in the Maestro solo series from 2020. Now Hulk found one of the last populated cities on Earth, ruled by a person who also had taken the name Maestro, uh, a former Avenger named Hercules, who also was nearly a century older. But Long story short, uh, Banner decided that Hercules was a Jercules. So he fought him, got clobbered, uh, and then turned around and murdered Hercules by making Vapor, one of the U-Men, a woman who can transform herself into gas, materialize inside of his lungs. Smoked him. Uh, the bald, bearded, badass Banner has taken control of what is left of human civilization in a city called Dystopia, and has taken the name Maestro for himself. Anyway, back to Future Imperfect. So 1992's Hulk had to face the future maestro version of himself, which wasn't exactly close to easy, because apparently Hulks age like single malt whiskey. They only get stronger, and I presume, more flavorful. Uh, but the maestro breaks his neck, uh, Banner's that is, and spends Banner's recovery time trying to earn his allegiance and trust with all he's accomplished. But this uh, new Banner, he's both brilliant, a little stronger than present day 1992 uh, Hulk, and is totally, utterly ruthless in both vengeance and governance. And of course, present day Bruce Banner, uh, Professor Hulk, is not having any of it. So eventually he reconnects with Rick Jones, and the two tangle again with uh, Maestro, which goes very badly for Rick, as he's impaled by Wolverine skeletal claws, uh, uh, but Hulk manages to use the time cube to send Maestro back to the very moment uh, and the very gamma explosion that created the Hulk originally, killing him. Or so they thought. Because it didn't end there, uh, the character was later revisited uh, as he reconstituted himself from absorbed radiation. And then again in 2018, with the return of Spider-Man 2099 uh, going to the future, uh, Banner's ultimate villain is the one that he's truly had the longest himself. Okay, great story, but here's why it feels like an inevitable and perfect movie. One, uh, Professor Hulk is already introduced. Two, big Hulk on Hulk action with future versions of established characters. Everybody likes that. Three, a new manipulative, time-hopping, super strong, virtually immortal supervillain. Absolutely everybody's on board with that. Even if it isn't a central character to this phase of the Avengers, it seems like a timely and perfect choice, or at the very least a great opportunity for whatever Loki's time-hopping uh, show aims to actually be, or at the very worst, a standalone movie as jaw-dropping as we would all expect a Hulk v Hulk bout to be. But while it would be perfect, future imperfect even, uh, a lot has to align. Universal has successfully prevented another solo, truly solo, Hulk film from happening for a while, and nothing like that has been announced at all. But as we all saw with Thor Ragnarok, any number of these films can take an entirely unexpected direction. The Maestro might be inevitable. Hopefully, it's just a matter of time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. <laughs>